is there any team news, any updates on or new injuries? We have little things, but we are going to wait until tomorrow. Of course, Tanganga has uh, a stress fracture for uh, a few months now. Um, and of course, he didn't recover during this, this period. And we have some little problems that we have to, to analyze tomorrow morning before we make uh, a decision. But the ones that had uh, uh, surgeries, uh, Kane, Son, and uh, Sissoko, uh, these three, uh, they recover and they are ready to play. So you get the impression as well that everybody is as match fit that they possibly can be at this stage. You know, it's something new that we we don't know. I think only when we are on the on the pitch playing in these new circumstances, I think will be will be the moment to for the players to feel it and for us to and for us to analyze. So let's wait for tomorrow. And just finally, from me, because there are a lot of people who want to speak to you. Um, Obviously, a big game because of the circumstances, the first game back in this mini season. The fact that it's a former team of yours, Jose, does that make it extra special? No, no. I think it's a bit special because uh, it's quite a similar feeling to the first match of, of the season. Uh, match day one is always special and I think probably all of us coaches, players, we have this little different feeling of match day one. And in the end, uh, this is uh, this is not match day one, but we can feel it that way because it was a long, long time of, um, let's say, holiday, but this special moment for the world and uh, difficult for everybody, even the returning to to training, going through so many different phases. Um, but yes, I, I'm I'm happy to play, even knowing we'll be behind closed doors. We know that uh, millions will be uh, watching it, and uh, we want to give a, a good game. We want to give a good football match. Thank you very much, Jose. Thanks, Simon. Thank you, Gary. Okay, thank you, Gary. Um, we're now going to go to Mandy from PLP. I'm just going to unmute you. Okay, Mandy. Hi, Josie. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Good? Yeah, good, thank you. Um, how much does it help your preparation, Josie, for this game, given you've got such an insight into this United side? Because it's hard for everybody to judge the form of teams until maybe a few games into this new part of the season. How much does it help your preparation that you know them so well? doesn't help honestly it doesn't help um of course i know some some of their players but uh i tried to know the players from from every team and when i didn't had the chance to work with them like i did with some of the united boys you try to study them as much as as you can so normally yes i study opponents collectively individually that's that's normal and uh i don't know but maybe two three weeks ago we knew that uh, the premier league was going to to start we knew clearly that united was the first opponent west ham was the second opponent uh, uh, sheffield united the third opponent so of course you had you had lots of time to analyze your opponents, but you analyze your opponents three months ago, four months ago, five months ago. And uh, this is a, a situation where you didn't even have the friendly matches like you have in normal pre-seasons to follow your opponents and to see, to see and to understand the state of uh, a form, the performance level, and probably new tendencies when you have time to, to work before that first match of, of the season everything is different uh, for me after more than two decades 
uh, in in football it's hard for me to say that something is new for me but this is new for me uh, to play this this first match after uh, this period is new for me too